We're going to bring a sister up, because you know we can't do nothing without our sisters and mothers. That's right. I could not come into this world without my mother. Yeah. Thanks. I did. <laughs> I'm proud of this too. I love my father. I was blessed to have a strong black man as a father and a strong black woman together, and they live together. And I'm thankful that my father went in business and he taught me how to do business and not to, he taught me never to try to work for the European. And he was a great example. So this sister that I'm bringing up is a lawyer. When I was in college, they miseducated me. Come on. They even told me that I should, I was in business communication class and my teacher, she said, I was at all black college in Atlanta, she said, pay attention because in the future when you're working on white people's job, you're going to need, I said, hold it. <laughs> Madam, I'm not working, I'm not here paying my money for you to teach me that. Okay. She looked at me. She respected me. I love her for just understanding me. Because I wasn't there to be working on the white people's job. Okay. That's right. This sister, two things when you come to business anywhere you go in the world, you need what? A lawyer. Right. Trust me, I've been here in Africa for 32 years, and lawyers have saved me. Literally, okay, from situation that if I didn't have a lawyer, I could be, as they say, up the creek without a path. Right. So, trust me, a lawyer can save you, especially if you make them your friend. So you, you, if, they make, if you make them your friend, they don't charge you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so I got friends and lawyers, and they don't charge me as much as the other one. But this law firm is what I call the Johnny Cochran of Ghana. That's what's up. So we're not bringing on just any kind of lawyer. We bring it on the best okay. and the brightest. So let us welcome Sister Kosi uh, Krashi. Okay, I hope I pronounced her name right. <laughs> and I hope she can talk about different things other than the land because lawyers do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Father David. Um, Akwaba, once again. My name is Akosi Krashi. It's like President David said. Um, I'm a lawyer by profession, and I work with Egality Law. Uh, we're a law firm. Personally, I trained partly here, and I trained in the US. I got my master's in law um, from the University of Illinois. Um, we specialize in, my principal as well, was trained in the UK and the US, and then came to Ghana but he's originally Ghanaian. So what we do is we act as the bridge between international companies, individuals who want to set up here, um, who want to move here, who want to invest here, and we help them navigate the local terrain. So basically because we have, let's say, dual experience, and sometimes dual legal experience as well, we know what people should be looking out for when they come here. So that's what we do. And as Brother Dan Kwab already said, um, I won't touch much on land. I think he's done a very excellent job. But um, what I would advise is, apart from you just deciding to buy land, when you decide to buy land, you need people to do the due diligence for you. You need to know, just like you said, there are different kinds of owners. You need to know who the owner is. You need to know exactly what kind of title you're getting, how many years you're getting. You need to know you're not being shortchanged. So we do that. And then we help with the drafting of the legal documentation, and then make sure that your interests are protected. Um, and it's always good to have a lawyer to do that for you because we can be held liable. I mean, other people can go scot free, but we have our profession and our licenses on the line when we engage in these things. Aside from land, um, for those of you who want to set up businesses, when you want to register with the um, Register General Department, we will take you through, depending on what your interests are. 
people come here, they want to set up NGOs because they want to engage in charity work. Some people want to actually come and engage in profit-making business. Some people want to set up foundations, trusts. We can basically take you through the steps. Depending on whatever vision you have, we just guide you through the legal work. It's easier when you do that. Um, aside from registration of um, business entities, we also do intellectual property. There's so many creative people who come to Africa. There's copyright, trademark, I think so many things, basically. I think Africa is one of the best places to create. Naturally, there's creation going on all over. So when you come, you create, you want to protect your interests. And basically, we can guide you not just to register and protect your interests in Africa, but you can patent or copyright your work on an international market. So basically, it's protected everywhere. You created it here, but it can be protected anywhere and everywhere, depending on where you register it. So we can guide you through those steps, those processes. Um, also, naturalization. For those of you who want to come and want to become Ghanaians, we will let you know what you need, what's required, how you can become Ghanaian and become one of us. Um, I think I'll end here. But another thing is GIPC which you probably would talk about, or somebody's going to talk about as well. So aside from registering your business, there are other legal things you have to consider. You have to register with certain government agencies to make sure that you're compliant. It's very, very important. People come, they set up, and then they fall short, and they find out that they have to pay a lot of penalties. Also with taxes. It's different here altogether. In the U.S., I could just do my tax online. Right. Yeah, like, it doesn't really happen here. You need somebody to take you through what you need to do, where you need to get the documentation. Perhaps after you do it once or twice, you can do it by yourself, but it's important initially to have somebody to guide you through the steps. And that's what we're here for. So, Egality Law <coughs> is at your service when it comes to any legal paperwork you need to do with regards to either buying property, setting up businesses here, naturalizing, maybe just suing somebody even, but that's unlikely. <laughs> but anything having to do with legal work, it's legal to know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good. Let's give her another round of applause. Yeah. When you got the lawyers, you got, you, you're in business. You got the protection. Because believe me, many things that they know, they speak another language all together. They speak another language all together. And they can open doors that you can never open. So definitely, um, you know, the addresses and the booklets, so feel free to call on them um, and make them your friends, I mean, you know. It's another thing about investing in Africa, if you're not married, you need to invest in a spouse here. That's the one of the best ways to get united. You can easily get married here if you're a man or a woman. Because you don't have all the, the uh, what you call it, um, you don't have all the confusion. You know, this is a great place to, 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 to rise in love. You don't fall in love in Africa. You rise in love. Okay? Never fall in love. Always rise in love. And that's how we bring about that unity, okay? You bring about unity by getting married. That's one way, okay? Okay, we're gonna bring up, you see, health 